Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogame here. Today we have a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU showed on live and we are featuring Chadot. I'm excited about the video. I'm really hoping that Chadot can do something. If you guys didn't know, this Pokemon did get a buff this generation. It has access to Parting Shot. Now, it's a little bit of a buff because if we look at uh, Chadot's stats, it doesn't really have good stats. And the unfortunate thing is even though Showdown says you can use Boom Burst, uh, it actually doesn't let you use Boom Burst because Boom Burst is not currently legal. If I'm not mistaken, because I believe Chadot gets it from uh, uh, Neuvern, Neuvern, and Neuvern's not in the game, and some people were saying you can get it underground, but then Cerebi said you couldn't, so I don't, I don't know. But either way, we can't use it. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like, and of course, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm uploading multiple videos a day, two to three videos a day, a lot of Pokemon content, and uh, yeah, we got some fun stuff coming out, but uh, I'm going to pause it real quick. Also, one real, real quick thing before I pause it and we find a battle. Teams on my website, pokemon.com, and if you guys want to pick up my new merch, I have some merch celebrating Pokemon BDSP launch, the link is down below. Alright, so I'm going to pause it, and we'll be right back with a battle. Hopefully, Chad, I can do something today. Alright, shout out to Ozma for the team. Uh, this sucks because when they go Gliscor and U-turn, they're just going to bring out Yamega and Bug Buzz and kill Chad with the Tinted Lens. Uh, the great thing is, though, that Scarf Rotom is incredible here. One, two, three, four. Really good. I have Flame Body Heatran for the Scizor. And, I mean, Chadot can still sub up on Gliscor. So, let's see how this goes. Then, leading off with Rotom Wash, which is to be expected. As my dog has uh, walked by. Puka, come here. As my dog has walked by. Um, let me make the Tyranitar play. I can switch in on Latios via Toekiss, so I'd rather bring in Titar now and potentially get up rocks for Yamega as they end up going Scizor. Uh, unless they Brick Break immediately, Flame Body Heatran has a 30% chance to burn them from the get. Gliscor is going to come out. And uh, how do I want to deal with this? Toekiss also four times with this Bug Buzz, so that should be okay. The Air Slash is what's kind of the problem. This is definitely rocks. We'll make the chat out play now as they U-turn. As you can see, it only does 15%, so that's nice. And we get to find out what type of Starmie this is. I'm sure you're offensive. Oh, it's leftovers. Honestly, that's not the end of the world because Rotom can come in pretty safely on that. And Rotom looks really good here. Rotom looks hella good here. I'm going to Hydro Pump just in case they're crazy and go Gliscor. We do manage to land and do a good chunk. And because they do have uh, their Rotom and whatnot, um... Don't really have the best leads versus that. I'm just going to go Garchomp because I can sub up on potentially Rotom as they go Lottie. Now this can easily Draco me if it really wants to. Or Surf. Maybe it won't actually do either. I think we go Toekiss on the Latios as they opt to Dragon Pulse. And the good thing is I can just go right for the Air Slash here and that'll knock out uh, Gliscor. Or they stay in with Life Orb Latios. They stay in with Life Orb Latios and take a chunk. This is fine though because I do have Gliscor. At least you can hear my dog over there. We do have Gliscor. Uh, excuse me. We do have this Mon here and they have no Stone Edge switching. So I'm going right for it. Gliscor dies if I do manage to land. Perfect. The one Mon. <laughs> the one Mon that my uh, <laughs> that my chat out could be. But maybe it can annoy this guy as well. And again, going Heat Trend every time. Potentially getting that 30% chance to burn the Scizor. It'll happen one day. I believe in it. And I can safely bring out Rotom and just go right for uh, the the Volt Switch here. They're, it's a little bit annoying that I'm not doing any damage to them overall, but it's still okay. Especially because I get to go out into Tarantar now. And I think what I want to do is actually Thunder Wave. I want to Thunder Wave the, uh, the Scizor because I'm going to try and Parafusion it later. I'm going to attempt to Parafusion it later. If they take a U-turn, that will be really bad for me. I'm going to go see if we can activate the Sand Veil here. That doesn't activate. You, get, you, get, you do get to see that I'm Sand Veil, though. I'm assuming you have Ice Beam. Which is really bad for me. <laughs> Toekis is useless, though. So it is Ice Beam. Going to bring our Rotom here and just Volt Switch. Should be relatively safe. It's just the fact that the, uh, the Lottie is like... Capable of surviving everything is pretty bad for me. But we do get up rocks now, and even if they go star me, if they're not spin. I can bring out Garchomp one more time, potentially on their full para or their Sand Veil. 
and I'm just gonna click Earthquake. They can easily Ice Beam and knock me out. But this does allow me to go out to this Mon one more time. I do get ro I do have rocks up, and now I can crunch. So it's okay with those two being gone because yeah, Mega just clicks Volt Switch on everything on their team. I would love if they just stay in with Starmie and give it to me. Ooh. Chat out, it's time, baby. And it hits me first. Let's go ahead and hit him with a chatter there. As they go Scizor. So now we can have the pair of fusion. Let's go. Let's go chat out. Let's go chat out. Let's go chat out. You are paralyzed and confused. Come on. You are paralyzed and confused, bro. This Scizor does not care about Samville. This Scizor doesn't care about anything, bro. I'm just going to parting shot here. And bring out this guy and get a kill now with Crunch. KO's Rotom. If they don't burn me here, I destroy them. Yep, biggest threat to my team, straight up gone. And you are not a problem, especially because I have Magma Storm right here, which picks up a KO. I lied. They end up going for that. I'm just going to parting shot here. Bring out my Tyranitar. Go right for Crunch. That should be a KO on something. The fact that they gave me Rotom is amazing as well. What's she doing? She's trying to get in the door. Yeah, Mega does come out. I do believe I just bring this guy out, though, and just simply click uh, Magma Storm again. Provided we land, we actually pick up a KO on Yam Mega. Awesome. And I go hard Tyranitar here and simply click Crunch. And last is their Scizor. Hey. This Scizor might have avoided every attack in the damn game. But I just bring you out and go for Trick. That way they can't do anything. It doesn't matter. Whatever they're locked into. Does not matter there. They finally are getting the, the confusion and everything. Yeah. <laughs> GG. Yeah, you never, never hit yourself once. What happened? I'm sure you going for BP mattered I don't understand what happened where, where did I luck them let's let's see let's see what happened here I'm tired of this man I've been doing this for way too long let's see Volt switch uh, no Samville no nothing Glide score comes out the u-turn oh they're just mad they didn't hi they didn't scald burn me well I also tried to flame body you and parafusion you so I guess we're even huh Tyranitar on that Glide score dies flame body nope oh they didn't scald burn me again I guess that sucks thunder wave on Garchomp no full para no Samville that dies, Volt Switch, Stealth Rock up, once again, no full para, no Sandville, no Sandville, Rotom, Parafusion, Parafusion, in my favor, nope, Breakthrough, that, oh, I guess they didn't burn me here with this Scald, or they didn't, oh, it's because they, oh, they dodged Magma Storm there, awesome, that's probably why, maybe that's why they said GG, because they dodged Magma Storm, nope, Crunch, oh, it's because they didn't flinch me with Air Slash, Oh, it's because they got full parad when all I had to do was land a Magma Storm and Scizor and Heatran always won. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they were complaining about, but at least I got to chatter somebody and parting shot. Well, I got to chatter, which was fun. We'll be right back with another game. So I'm currently fighting the scariest team in existences. And also, like, in some test games, I lost twice because my Togekiss was slower than Breloom and I missed Air Slash twice, so I'd made it faster than Breloom. Uh, my opponent has a really cool-looking team. Um... They do have a Blissey, which is scary. And, well, I mean, the main one they have that's scary is slacking. <laughs> but I love Rotom in this. I love its ability to trick. Uh, I do not mind them sleeping my Tyranitar, I guess. Eh, actually, no. I would rather them sleep my Toekiss. Toekiss has less of a role here. Whereas Tyranitar can help me offensively check Stormy and Gengar, and defensively do the exact same thing. But I mean, they do have Pokemon weak to Chatter. Uh, this Parasect, for one. I do so much. Alright, so Spore is gonna get that. We're gonna go Tyranitar here. I, I, honestly, just double the slacking. <laughs> just go ahead, bring out the big boy. Uh, Tyranitar should be good if they go out into Blissey, Starmie. I mean, they could obviously go Gliscor too, uh, but I want to see if I can get up Rocks. But more importantly, I want to get up Sand and start chipping away at the slacking. The Starmie. 
This is why we need Pursuit. These mods, the best mods in the metagame, top 10, kept in check. Bring back Pursuit. Then I'm going Glide Score. It doesn't matter, I'm getting on my rocks as they fling me. Uh, and they talk to me, so we know they're acrobatic lives, which means that they actually beat my chat out 1v1 anyway. That's awesome. But we'll make the Rotom play here as they go for Defog. And I'm going to uh, Volt Switch once more. Maybe they're just fling Defog, Earthquake, Roost. Maybe they can't touch my chat out. Actually, that's awesome. So I'm going to Volt Switch here because you should never, ever, ever stay in with a Glide Score on a Rotom. Ever. 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 I'm just, I'm just saying this that way my opponent doesn't stay in because it doesn't make sense if they stay in at all. It doesn't. There you go. There's the parasite. It's time. You plot. You disrespectful. You are so disrespectful. Dude. You are bugging grass and I am a flying type. That is so disrespectful. Anyway, I confused that 100% of the time. And now I'm going to parting shot into my uh, SD. Well, soon I'll bring out SDU, but I want to avoid a toxic. I mean, a uh, thunder wave, excuse me. I think we go Rotom as they go for thunder wave. And, uh... I'm gonna vault. Basically, I want Tyranitar in and I want to get a Brox. And I want to SD up with my Garchomp because Leftover's Garchomp should be able to beat the Gliscor in theory. Unless it's Acrobatics as well as whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna Volt Switch again. You disrespectful Parasect. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually mad it stayed in. That would have been Chatout's first kill. Perfect. We get to bring you out. I'm gonna go for Swords Dance. I don't die to Ice Beam, so as they go Paris, I'm gonna sub up as well. And now I have a plus two Garchomp behind a sub, and we can go for Stone Edge and knock out the Paraset. Could then matter. That's plus two. Maybe I can get two KOs here for the price of one. Depending on the Glide Score set, it won't be able to touch me either. So if I land two Stone Edges, I knock it out. I think the only Mon that Stone Edge doesn't knock out is actually Slacking and Glide Score, so. Let's see if we can land a second. Go ahead and land this. That's, I mean, I got the Parting Shot, which was cool, because I got Momentum with Chata, but I'm really mad that Parasect stayed in to click Leech Seed on me. I'm mad. Also, I apologize. I have to get laundry in the middle of it. Dude, really? <laughs> Alright, there's a shadow ball. I see them focus blasting here, but still gonna get a Brox. <laughs> Yo, they brought up the king! <laughs> Why? Why did you go hard into the king? Anyway, uh, Gengar and Starmie get, and Gliscor get all get checked, so... Bring out you. Gonna make the Rotom play here, even if they defog. As they roost. Yeah, they can't touch Shadow. That's awesome. That's a bad play, dude. That is... A, I mean, you can't touch me, so I'm gonna go for it again. But that is a bad play. Just risk the mon that that can beat you. You know why? Why risk the mon that actually does well versus my Garchomp? The only mon on our team that is immune to the uh, the attack. Let's go for Earthquake too. I have I always have Chat on to come in on Gliscor, so I'm not worried about it. Actually, I always have Rotom. Say then go for more of your 13 EQs. I have 26 Volt Switches. You think I won't go for this forever? I will. Alright, once again, we're just going to chip this guy down. <laughs> and then go Toa Kiss.
They literally cannot touch me. I'm gonna go Rotom here. Which I believe is, uh, which is definitely faster than slacking. They should double, yep. If I give this guy a choice scarf, it's worse for me. So I'm a Volt. Bring out you again and click Swords Dance one more time. Good, good miss. Come on, dude, just land. I, all I gotta do is land versus this guy. Thank you. Just give me the kill on Gliscor. It's, it's just annoying. It's simply annoying. It's nothing else, if not. Like, this dies too. If they keep going to this damn bright powder guard shot, they're trying to get the cursed body on me, which makes sense. Darmy comes out. Gonna sack you to Psychic. I know they're going Gliscor. Watch this play. This is a throw, by the way, because I can lose this army. Yep. Get out of my sight, dude. Not of my house. Not today. I don't know what you're going for, but let's find out your item. Ooh. Do we see orb? We do not. Maybe belt? Walk on? I don't know, but I've also switched out to Garchomp and I click Earthquake, so. <laughs> Go, he tried. I choose you. Yeah. Doubling the chat out just in case they go blissy. And I chatter so they stay confused. <laughs> Come on, stay confused. Stay confused. I think I can actually lose to this guy. Oh, never mind. I just click Earthquake. Earthquake is a 2 a KO. Yep, easy. I have Trick on Rotom at the end of the day. I just sack you. Go Rotom and click Volt Switch. Scarf star me. It's not, it's not Scarf, so it can't knock me out. And then we bring out Garchomp. Hey, look at that little parting shot chatter comedy. I mean, it's not anything, like, it's not sweeping, but it was pretty cool nonetheless, right? It was pretty cool nonetheless. Oh, I got like a million DMs, bro. What's going on? I'll pause. I'll bear back. All right, we got a game uh, versus New Sun Test. We're going to lead off with Chat Out, and we're going to chat or something. We actually, this is the same person that I played yesterday, or this is the same team that I played the other day. I'm gonna chatter here. I'm assuming they go Heatran. Chatter guarantee confuses them, which is awesome. Unfortunately, they have leftovers. And now I can go for parting shot to get momentum and keep them at minus one. Bring on my little Rotom here. Let's go for a Volt Switch. I don't think they go Hard Dawn Fan. I don't think it gets them anything if they go Tangrowth. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I get some chip on them. Their Focus Blast or Sleep Powder. I remember that much. Toicus walls. Get a Brox. I think I always go you and I always click chatter again. Because that confusion plus parting shot combo is so nice. Oh, if you can just get this confusion because it's fine. Get the parting shot here, which is cool. Change the weather, you feel me? We're out Toicus now and just defog. Uh, this heat trend's annoying, that's for sure. But I do have Magma Storm, so. I mean, I do have Sandville. I, I thought I had Sandville, excuse me. <laughs> I I would have thought <laughs> I had Sandville. Man, I got Sandville on this boy. Come on, bro. Dodge and attack, damn it. Dodge and attack, bro. Free Hydro. Surprised they went hard Torko. If this lands, this is amazing. I'm just gonna always bring you out. And then I get to go out to my Chatter one. It, it, Focus Blast did 98%. Y'all saw that? <laughs> 98%. Get our Earth Power here. It's Dawn Fan. It's Torkoal. 
Dude, what? Really? Really? Come on, bro. My T Tar's still asleep. My Tyranitar is still asleep, brother. Eat that up. Gotta make this play. Thunder Wave. Giant there gone. Gonna do the exact same thing to. They're 100% going heat trainer. I don't. I do not have to predict Tangrowth. I just go for Earthquake. And provided Stone Edge hits, you pick up a KO there. I mean, this Magma Stone Heatran look kind of nice. That Heatran is a threat. I mean, this Magma Stone Heatran look kind of nice, dude. Maybe they anticipate me to go Heatran? Nope, they just get a special attack drop, so. <laughs> Nothing I do matters. Gonna Thunder Wave once more. I would love to slow down their. Bro, can you stop getting a, a drop on me? Please. Stop getting the drop on me, please. Gotta go, Rotom. I think I trick here. Should be faster than you. I basically needed to be able to switch up moves. So I needed to be able to Volt Switch and do everything. Rocks up mean I get a kill. I'll go for them. Hey, alright, so Tyranitar dies. Uh, that dies, awesome. And I can Thunder Wave the, this Mon too. So that's beaten 1v1. And Garchomp just clicks Earthquake, and I, yep, that should be game. Beautiful. So, I don't remember if Chadot died in that one, but it got to click Parting Shot around again, if I'm not mistaken, on the Heatran. So Parting Shot Chadot was pretty cool. Like, I, I'm not doing anything with the the Chatter. I'm not actually hitting, and nobody's hitting themselves in confusion, but... <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, so, so I'm going to use Prolo Pass. Eventually, right? I mean, bro, <laughs> and I told my boy Scarzig, which is the person who's making all these awesome emotes, uh, emotes, uh, thumbnails. I said, hey, can you make a pro pass that looks like Nar uh, Nigel Thornberry? And anybody who watched the Wild Thornberries knows what Nigel Thornberry looks like. And, uh, <laughs> I just cannot wait till you guys see the thumbnail. <laughs> I'll be right back with another game. Guys, we got another game. And uh, I'm going to parting shot this person, that's for sure. I love their team, by the way. Very uh, DVP-ish. Almost black and white slash DVP. Um, Togekiss is good. Magnezone is incredible versus me. I love my Etran. Let's go ahead and chatter something, though. Now, if this is Scarf, that really sucks. But I hope they're Sash. Please don't rock to me. Okay, they're, they're Scarf, and they end up going for Sleep Powder. So that's fine, because I could potentially wake up here and get off a parting shot. I do not wake up there and get off the parting shot. However, we're gonna go Heatran. They do Volt Switch, which is a great play. I mean, I, I didn't expect that from the get, considering what I had in the back, but fantastic play. Now, if this thing is Ice Punch, that's really bad for me, but I do have Samville Garchomp. <laughs> Yay! First time for everything. Let's go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double the Rotom on the, on the Skarmory, or as they go for Ice Beam, that's fine too. I mean, they have no Hydro Switchings in the, uh, in the sand. Yep, there are absolutely no Hydro Switchings in the sand. That has a chance to do the exact same roll. I'm going to go for it. They also doubled a star me there, which is smart. Not risking the roll. They also knew when sand that I was faster. Uh, we can go Tyranitar on this thing, actually. And simply crunch. I don't know why they stayed in like there's Pursuit. Maybe just to burn me here. They did not burn me. I get rid of their Water Resist. Awesome. Braylon comes out. I think I go Togekiss regardless of them clicking Rock Tomb here. Yeah. Good play, good play. But we do have Garchomp now, so. 
It's gonna Stone Edge. Hits Skarmory, breaks it sturdy, and lets me Voltage around. Chat out, I believe in you at the end. Yeah, lets me Voltage around. The T-Tar comes out! I got the chip. But I need more. These guys all get cooked by Heatran, so I'm debating if I... Uh, what do I do here? Because this is rocks, right? <sighs> I think I actually Earthquake here. Oh my god, Samville! <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> We can bring out Tohokis now. Get up our rocks and actually Thunder Wave the Skarm too to Parafusion it. They attempt to whirl in me. They will not whirl in me, says the game. And there's Tyranitar. I mean, I bring back out Samville Garchomp. <laughs> Look, this is the first time all time that Sambo Garchomp has been doing anything, bro. That's crazy. I don't want to take a Force Palm to the face. I don't want to sack Chat Out because it's Chat Out. I feel like even if you don't tank it, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, because now I get to go Rotom. I'm gonna Hydro Pump into Magnezone. Yo! I just lost my mom because I, I was a, a demon. That's fine. Uh, this is actually... Low-key, this is better for me because they have zero switch into this mod. Um, yeah, low-key, this is better for me. Because I have Flash Cannon. Yup, they died. <laughs> like, legitimately, he tried is This is better for me. This worked out better for me. What are you going for, huh? Oh, Force Palm, you might say. Let's go ahead and get up Sand, that way you die in two hits. And now we bring out you, and safely click Protect. Zone comes out, I'm gonna Earth Power here as they go for Thunderbolt. And now we land Magma Storm. Oh shoot, if they get up three layers, I lose. <laughs> And now we land Magma Storm. <laughs> what a game, man. Oh my god, Samville was wild, dude. Samville was wild. <laughs> Samville was insane, dude. <sighs> why? I mean, why can't I chatter anybody with chat on? I can parting shot, though. That's always the goal. Every mon on that team beats chat on. Every single mon on that damn team beats chat on. I just want everybody to know it. every single one on that team beats Chat Out. Not one, not two, but six Pokemon on that team beat Chat Out. You know what you do? You freaking lead off with this demon. The parting shot to take less damage from U turn on Heatran. Also, if they double, maybe randomly. This is why it's gonna be called Parting Shot Chat Out. Pisses off the ladder. <laughs> I guess I just clicked Magma Storm here, but what the hell else did I click? Yeah, they get go. I catch Guard Child, which is good. Like a demon. We click Flash Cannon! And then we protect. See if they can even touch my Toe Kiss. You got Stone Edge? What if they can't even touch me? Yeah, I'm about to say, like, I'm not, I'm not about to throw away Mons just because. Let's get some chip on this guy. If this is Scarf, this is better for me. No, let me just Roost. Oh, why are they discharged? <laughs> the one set. Six was my entire team. So. Their Garchomp can't touch me. I think if I get up rocks with this guy, Garchomp dies. That's completely fine. Um, the way I'm winning this game is with tricking Latios to Choice Scarf and then he training them up.
gonna actually crunch just in case they're crazy and go hard guard jump. Discharge will. Oh my god, they just have both. I want to force Scissor to U-turn basically so I can get the flame body on them. That's what I want, man. So just, just get the flame body, damn it. Thirty percent. Peace. All right, so we got rid of that. Awesome. I guess I'll make the Heatran play here. I do have defense EVs too. Throw off the Magma Storm. Any chip on Rotom is always good. Ooh, I definitely don't mind Latios coming out. They throw off a Surf here. A well, Flash Cannon anyway. It looks like they're Life Orb Specs. So I've beaten the Latios 1v1, a giant threat to the team. Now they still have a Rotom, which is also a bigger threat, but now they still have a Demon Rotom. <laughs> but look how good, look how, he tried to beat both Latios and Garchomp, man. That's pretty sick, I'll be real. Now what can I defog on? Excellent question. Excellent question. I'm gonna trick them. I want them to be locked. I want them to be locked in. To like whatever move they go for. Yeah, I'd rather them throw chop me so I can defog here and then Garchomp goes, goes crazy. So let me defog. If I defog also, Heatran basically gets back up to full HP. So this is like win-win. I, I That Rotom is more annoying if it can switch up moves. So I think that choice locking it into seven Hydros is real good. This is all assuming this Weavile is banded, by the way. Based on the way, if it's SDs, once I lose. Sick. Gonna roost once. As they willow, or they as they try and willow, uh, we'll thunder wave now on what I'm hoping to be Weavile <laughs> or Heatran. Heatran works too. Hey, we'll take that. And I'll bring out Chad out on what I'm thinking is going to be an Earth Power. So we get the then they're going Rotom. Hmm. That's Rotom's min speed one. And wash. Two away. Damn it. It's faster than me. Ah. I mean, they have no reason not to hydro, right? They're parting shy anyway. Let them hydro. Rocks up. Always bring out Heatran. I'm faster than theirs, which is great too. Oh, this is really bad for them, actually. We use Earth Power. If they go Rotom, this is awesome because I'm getting Sand Chip on Rotom, but also depending on what move they go for. Like if they go for Volt Switch, I always go Garchomp. And all I'm doing is getting recovery on my on my Mon. So yeah, like that Mon, that move doesn't matter at all. Watch this easy, easy Magma Storm on Weavile too. Or Scizor, I'll take it. Go ahead and give me that. Oh, dude, the Heatran plays in this game are like... Blim, I hope I'm making you proud, buddy. Let's go ahead and protect here. Brick break, you say? Roost once. We get out you. Click Stealth Rock. If they Brick Break, that's fine. Because then I can bring out Garchomp and get a kill. They might also just Ice Move, to be honest. But I want Rocks up because I'm tired of this Weavile coming in for free. Yep, yep, yep. Crash, come on, come on, come on. 
Hey, and now I can actually save this mon and bring out the mon who has been annoying the hell out of my opponent. And I never ever have to predict Rotom because I can always protect on Hydro and I can always Earth Power into Heatran. Dude, oh my god. Absolute destruction with Heatran in this game. I went from 30%. I beat a Garchomp. I beat a Scizor. I, Heatran beating their entire team, dude. I, I KO Garchomp. It beat, it beat Garchomp. It beat Scizor. It beat Latios. It's beating Rotom and it's beat Weevil. This is why you knock off Heatran. I mean, there's no knockoff, but... This is why you would knock off Heatran. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. With defense? Nope, you are not beating me. And they only have three Hydros left. Uh, well, now they only have three Hydros left. That miss sucked because of the full para. Obviously, but I don't, I don't think it matters in the long run. I think they just lose. Oh, now they just lose straight up. Yep, two Hydros left. And now what I can do is just sack my Tyranitar to the final Hydro, and they're forced to struggle. Bring out Garchomp and go for Substitute. Garchomp is also uh, faster, which is cool. But, go for Substitute here. There's a struggle. And that's a win. So, dude, crazy plays with Heatran in this game. Uh, overall, I, I, I mean, Chato didn't do much, but the parting shot around... Parting shot, chat out, confuses OU. Like, that was all, that's, that's all I did. Look, the parting shot there into Heatran. The Heatran right into Garchomp, into basically beating it 1v1. Luckily, they went Dragon Claw over Stone Edge here. That Rotom was a problem. It is, that's that Mon dead. Heatran basically beating this, beat Latios 1v1 too. That's Specs Latios. And the Magma Storm stuff. Oh my god. Do I have any replays from the games that I lost in testing? I want to I show off the... Because Chatout was actually pretty decent in some of those, too. I gotta check. I gotta check. But I remember... Two of the losses where... Um, my Toekiss was less speed than a... My Toekiss was less speed than a, a Breloom. And also, tricking the Rotom was, like, so good. Like, I, I mean, like, I, I hope you guys saw how good tricking Rotom and, and what it made it do was. Now, Chad, I got no kills, but at least we got the parting shot around. Yeah, that was such a good turn for me, too, because this let me Thunder Wave their Heatran. So that way, they uh, they were guaranteed slower than my Heatran. Ah, uh, you hate to see it from my opponent. Love to see it from me. And I'm flame body Heatran, and I did not burn a Scizor, man. Here it was uh it was too much of a risk to go um to bring out Toekiss. Stealth Rock were the play because it lets me get in Heatran. They went for discharge there, and then I expected them to double. I thought it'd be Weavile, but we caught Scizor, which is great too. And my, my boy came from 38 HP all the way up to 100 percent by the end of this game. <laughs> oh man. And I knew here they, they wouldn't bring break. So I get a Brox, and I got to save this thing for a sack. I love this game. This is, this is, like, this game is, like, why I play Pokemon, man. Like, games like this, just, like, it's so, it, it, it's so cool just bringing Pokemon back. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, like, I'm admiring Pokemon uh, at the end of the day. But, man, it's so cool. There's a Hydro, and there's Togekiss, even if they hit, it didn't matter. As long as they have, if they didn't have one, they couldn't beat me. So, and who hits all their hydras anyway? But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna see if I can find any. Uh, do I have any replays from when I was testing? Let's see if anybody up against me saved. This is Envy's account, and I keep forgetting. Nope, none of those are mine. Huh. All right. Well, uh, basically, um, Chatout was did the exact same thing. It chattered and parting shot it around the entire time, and then the Breloom's would beat my Toekiss because I missed Air Slash twice in two games. Uh, but there were some good games though, uh, so it, it made me. I felt confident using it. But hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.